Today's activity challenge is to see how you can incorporate the brand new improved NASA juice. This stuff is amazing. Invented by astronauts, they're able to take this stuff and put it on anything and make it flow. It's an anti-gravitational substance, completely inert, completely non-toxic, completely non-corrosive, but extremely rare and extremely... Oh, okay. Here's the deal. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna pour some into here. I'm gonna make this nail right there float up to the top. Okay, so let's let's take the top off of this one first. Put that to the side, right over here. Okay, now I have to be real careful and quick about this. This stuff gets everywhere. And, uh, pretty sure soon the house will fly away. Okay, put some in there. Hand over the top of this. Move this to the side. My top back and oh, a little bit came out. I feel a little bit lightheaded. No, we're okay. Now, you can't see it in there yet. It's, it's slowly gonna get to the bottom. Um, what I have to do is just shake it a little bit and see if it works. Okay, that nail's still down there at the bottom. And, oh, there it goes, see? Look at that nail. Completely floating in the jar. It's amazing. Now, I will show you how you, I did this trick and maybe you can perform the same thing. So, what we need is a plastic bottle, some tape, uh, a nail, paper clip, um, a pin would be great, and some fishing line. Um, I drilled a hole at the bottom of my plastic bottle before we started, but you can use a nail um, to make the same type of hole. Now the first thing I'm doing here is I'm fishing, um, I'm threading in fishing line through the bottom of my bottle all the way to the top of the bottle, and in order for it not to pull all the way through, I'm going to tape the end to the bottom so it doesn't go through. Then I'm going to take the other end of the fishing line to tie it on to my nail here. Um, eventually I will pull the nail back into the bottle um, so that it, it will be the kind of floating kite-like uh, piece that um, is doing the magic dance in the anti-gravity part. Later on I color the nail black to make it more um, obvious that it looks like uh, a nail. Okay, next part is I'm going to work on the lid. I'm cutting out some cardboard pieces here that I will use to um, put inside of the top of the lid um, that the magnet will be attached to. Um, safety first here. Remember, be very safe. If you, if you have scissors, use those. Um, and if you have permission to use a razor blade, please use those with adult supervision. You don't have to use cardboard here to put inside of the lid of the cap. You can use a piece of wood, um, foam core, some plastic. Uh, it's just that I, there was the material I had on hand. And the reason why we do this is to bring the magnet closer to the bottle um, top. You can see now I'm going to put the, the lid on. It fits good. Okay. And now I'm going to glue the magnet on. Okay, so here's the tricky part. Now, you can see that the nail is floating inside of there, and it's being pulled by the magnet. And down here at the end of the bottle, I've taped it so that the string kind of goes through there. It's really hard to see that. Um, but the string that's taped here goes through all the way up through here. And there's a sweet spot. I'm gonna try to pull it back here in the end. If I pull it too much, the magnet doesn't actually allow it to be um, magnetizing anymore. I'm gonna see if pull it all the way to the end. Now you have to you have to play with this a little bit. You have to find the sweet spot of of where how long the string has to be, just in order so it just can keep enough of a balance of magnetism no matter what angle you put it at. And obviously straight up and down, and the, the, the nail is gonna basically go to the, to the ground. But if I, if I start to unscrew this and further this, this distance between the magnet and the nail, you'll see what's gonna happen. It's too great. The distance falls. It won't come back up until I drop it down again. Um, and that's the trick, see. Oh, the anti-gravity material's all gone, it flew out. So what you'll have to do is once your um, cap is in with the magnet in there, you're going to have to um, take off your piece of tape. Hopefully you also have a tail and you'll have to put it back through and fold it with your hand. See, at first, let it touch the magnet and then pull it back so it 
it's got a gap like that. When you find a sweet spot so when it, you can move it all around and it doesn't fall apart, then tape that off and cut the end off. Voila. Well, there you have it. That's how I made my anti-gravity machine. I'd like to see what you could come up with. Could you come up with a way to have maybe uh, something different than a paper clip or, a, or an eyelet? Could you maybe make it so that it goes to this side instead of up and down? Could you put it in a place where maybe it spooks people out? Tricks your friends, tricks your family, tricks your pets? I don't know. I would be happy to see what you came up with. Send me an email. And good luck and have fun. Talk to you later. Bye.